No, this is not Deja Vu. This is a beer that has the same name as before, but this is Volume 2. So let's get into it. And there's a bear on the can this time. Fucking right. Beer, 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 ba, beer, ba, beer, beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Mate Baruski, for the Ruski Baruski Review. And today, the beer I have for you might sound a little familiar. A little while ago, I did a review on the Surround Sound dr Double Dry Hopped Double IPA from the Collective Arts Brewing Company. But this is the version 2 with a bear on it, which is bad fucking ass. The original one was brewed with, I forget what hops off the top of my head, I'm gonna check. The first rendition was brewed with Simcoe, Galaxy, and Citra hops, but this one is still a double dry hopped double IPA, but it's with Simcoe and Amarillo hops. Still as well, coming in at 8.2% alcohol by volume and an unlisted IBU. So, I'm gonna dive into it, see what the, uh, see what the different kind of hops Due to the beer, I'm very excited. Kind of like this because then you get to, you know, <clears throat> taste flavors and identify. Whoa, I already smell that. Let's pour it. You, 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 you get to taste flavors of different hops and figure out what each different hop tastes like in a beer. There we go. Let's pour it up. 8.2%, definitely more of a slow sipper. I'm not gonna pour about that much there. And oh my god, if I could get this bear tattooed on me. Holy shit. That is just sorry, that's just badass. That's really badass. Looking at the beer, decently hazy into my IPA glass from Collective Arts. Very, very nice light yellow color as well. A lot of a uh, lot of carbonation coming up on the uh, bottom portion of the bottle here, not the bottle, of glass. Very nice white head on top. Let's have a smell. Ooh, piney, grapefruity, dank, resinous. Mangoes, pineapples. A little bit of earthiness coming through, some floral notes as well. Nice balance between tropical beautifulness and, and florally hops. Like I said, touch earthy as well. That smells amazing. Let's have a sip. Whoa. That is juicy. That is a juicy, juicy IPA. Mango. Pineapples. Big bitterness in the beginning. That kind of just shocked me a little bit. We need we need to keep diving in. We need to figure out all of the flavors in here. Cheers, everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Mm. Big grapefruit in the front. Some nice pine as well. Moving into your mangoes. Yeah, maybe a little, a little bit of guava going on. Pineapples, melons. Mm. Mm. Finish citrusy, big citrus note, light florally notes as well. And wow, that bitterness. That bitterness is solid. I want to put it up about 65 to 75 IBUs if I'm not mistaken. I know there's there's none listed, but that's okay. Wow, that is beautiful. Excuse me, holy jeez. It's creamy, it's a medium mouthfeel, but definitely just super creamy, velvety smooth, goes down like a dream. Big, bold, and in your face. Hops for days. Just a tremendous beer. Mm -hmm. Big and hoppy, big and piney, but really easy to drink. Moving over to the can, Surround Sound, Double Dry Hopped, Double IPA. It's a New England style. Hops that are used are Simcoe and Amarillo. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Any other information? Just the per alcohol percentage, Collective Arts Brewing. 
Uh, unfiltered, keep cool, return for refund, blah, 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 blah. Artist by Sandy and Steve Pell from Kitchener, Ontario. Which again is absolutely just... Damn. I need like a poster of that bear because that is badass. On the bottom, looking for a brood on date. 28th of January, 2019. So a very, very fresh can of, of beer. Just under a month old. Mm. It's fruity, it's juicy, little floral notes on the end. I'm just, I'm just shocked. I'm absolutely shocked. Moving over to the website now, collectiveartsbrewing.com. Surround Sound Hops 2, or version 2. Double dry hop, double IPA with rotating hops. This rendition, Simcoe and Amarillo. Our newest version of our Surround Sound double IPA has brilliant notes of mandarin citrus with pleasant undertones of tropical fruit and pine thanks to a huge 20 grams per liter dry hop dosing of Simcoe and Amarillo hops. Uh, then it just lists ABV, like I said, 8.2, and the flavor hops, which I've said multiple times as well, Amarillo and Simcoe. No list of IBUs, no list of malts in here, no list of yeasts, no, uh, no um, food pairings, but that's okay. I mean, that is information I do love to see um, on on a brewery's website, but you know what, it's, it's collective arts. I'm kind of going to give them a pass there, but at the same time, I'm not. But still, just at least there is a nice description of the beer, which is which is totally, totally fine by me. Mm. You can also purchase this beer in the LCBO. That's where I found mine. And it's coming in at $4.75 for the 473 or Tall Boy can. Yes, it is a bit more, but you're getting a damn delicious beer. Collective Arts never ceases to amaze me with what kind of beer they put out, and it's just it's just always a good, good time. Finally, moving over to Untapped, but before we get to that rating, another sip. So damn juicy. Surround Sound Double Dry Hop Double IPA with Simcoe and Amarillo Hops has been given a solid 4 bottle caps out of 5, and that's out of 871 ratings. Checking to see if anybody's left any little comments on here. Somebody says chewy, herbal, and earthy. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Somebody says solid IPA. Not too much descriptive notes, but it is a big, full-flavored, full-bodied, double IPA and that's one of the reasons why I love it so much it's just in your face and it's un un unapologetic so cheers in the final sip guys let's get right to ratings mm. fantastic fantastic beer I don't know if it's better than the first one because I don't remember the first one specifically too too much because I go through a lot of beer but I know the first one was really good. This one is just, oh, it's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful beer. Surround Sound Volume 2. This double dry hopped, double IPA. Gets a solid, oh, oh, dare I say it, 10 out of 10 for me. It's magnificent. The mouthfeel, the flavors, the aroma, the look of the beer, the nice lacing on the glass here. Just, just spectacular. Can't go wrong with it. It sits beautifully in the stomach. It's 8.2%, but it's not gonna... It, it doesn't kick you in the face with a huge... Well, it probably does for somebody who's not super vast in the hoppy world of beer. But, man, it's just it's a dream to enjoy. And it, I'm, I'm, I'm a happy, happy beer drinker. As for presentation, information-wise, there's not a lot. There's no description, no ingredients, but there's a brood on date and a list of the hops that are used. Even on the website, you do get a description, which is great. Love to see that. But still, nothing that really stands it out from anybody else. You know, you don't get a list of the malts or the yeast, and you don't get any food pairings, anything like that, and no listed IBUs. But the artwork is where it's at. I still can't get over how awesome this bear looks. It's it's 
it's ridiculous. So with that said, just because the can is so amazing, presentation gets a solid 8.5 out of 10 for me. Well guys, with all that said, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want me to review in the future, leave all the information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Mate Brewski, I'd greatly appreciate it as well. With all that said, that's going to do it for me, Mate Brewski. Like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. And now the bear will pour his beer. Ooh, so much lovely beer.